Hey everybody, welcome back. This lesson is an introduction to image contrast in radiographic imaging. What is contrast? Contrast in a radiographic image refers to the visible difference in brightness between two adjacent areas in the image. Here's a very basic example. Consider these two squares. They're like pixels within a radiograph. These two squares are nearly the exact same brightness level. We call that low contrast because the visible difference in brightness levels is very small. The difference in brightness is barely visible at all. But if we brighten the first square and darken the second square, now there's a greater difference in brightness level. This is higher contrast. Image contrast in radiography is critically important. Contrast is how our eyes see different structures in a radiograph. For example, the only difference in this series of images is the contrast. The first image has no contrast at all. All structures in the radiograph are the same brightness level. It's all the same shade of gray. The second image has low contrast. There are some differences in brightness level, but the difference is very small. The third image has high contrast. There are obvious differences in brightness levels between structures. And now we can see something that we couldn't see in the other images. In this last image, high contrast allows us to see there are no lung markings in the right lung field. This patient has a condition called pneumothorax. For proper diagnosis, an image needs to be the right amount of contrast to visualize the anatomy. Not too much and not too little. The term contrast is very closely related to other terms. For example, grayscale describes the total brightness levels visible in the image. A high contrast image has a short grayscale. This means there are only a few shades of gray and a lot of black and white. The brightness levels are very different and easy to see. A low contrast image has a long grayscale. This means there are numerous shades of gray and very little black and white. The brightness levels are very similar and harder to see. So when describing our sample chest x-rays, the low contrast image is said to have a long scale and the high contrast image is said to have a short scale. So what affects image contrast? Procedural factors like the KVP and grids have a small effect in digital radiography. Their importance is less significant than they used to be because image processing is so effective at creating contrast in the image, even when grid selection and KVP selection isn't quite right. Patient factors, like the part being imaged, the patient size, and pathologies also have some effect on image contrast. The most important factors controlling the image contrast are computer processing, like histogram analysis and lookup tables, post-processing, like adjusting the window width, and monitor display calibration, called the Grayscale Standard Display Function, or GSDF. If any of these factors are wrong, the image contrast can be significantly degraded. Think you understand contrast? Here's a question. Which two of these terms describe a radiographic image with widely varying brightness levels? Select two. The correct answers are A and D short scale and high contrast. An image with a short gray scale has high contrast. This means there is a wide variation in brightness levels throughout the image, more black and white and less gray. Here's another practice question. Which of the following is the most important factor controlling image contrast in radiography? The correct answer is D, computer processing. The other factors do have an influence on image contrast, but in digital imaging, these factors are less significant than they are in conventional film imaging. Modern computer processing is very effective at analyzing the radiographic image and creating just the right amount of image contrast. So in summary, contrast in a radiographic image refers to the visible difference in brightness between two adjacent areas in the image. Grayscale describes the total brightness levels visible in the image. A high contrast image has a short grayscale. A low contrast image has a long grayscale. Image contrast in radiography is critically important. Contrast is how our eyes see different structures in a radiograph. Image contrast is influenced by procedural factors like KVP and grids, 
patient factors like size and pathology, but the most important factor is computer processing. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to visit CloverLearning.com and explore our robust selection of video-based courses, certification exam prep question banks, and continuing education resources. Lastly, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on our latest videos.